of rain coming up later on today. It's going to get heavy at times, too. So get ready for a soggy Halloween. We do have a couple of showers out there this morning, but not everyone's seeing the rain right now. Temperatures in Collin County in the lower to mid 60s. And what you see there in the 60s is basically where we'll be all day. The temperatures. Just won't change a whole lot. I think we'll be in the lower 60s all the way through the afternoon with a north wind today behind a cold front that sneaked through the area this morning. And look at the rain chances. They're starting small this morning, a 20 to 30 percent chance of mainly lighter showers. But look what happens to these rain chances as we get toward lunchtime and then into the afternoon. We'll go to about a 90 percent chance of rain later this afternoon. And some of the rain could be heavy at times. Maybe even some quarter sized hail in the strongest storms in the Metroplex, but I don't think that's going to be a widespread problem. As we get into the evening for trick or treat time, rain chances are still there. They'll slowly taper off, but I do think we'll still see some rain around here this evening for trick or treating. Unfortunately, it's going to be a wet one today. The radar is showing these very tiny, lighter showers rolling from southwest to northeast. Most of them right now are in northern Dallas County, north of I 30, but we do have a couple of them in and around Arlington. Up toward Euless, a little bit of shower activity here moving into Mansfield and Benbrook. The rain chance is small this morning, but we will see some showers out there that could lead to, as Madison mentioned, the roads being a bit on the damp side. The cold front that I was talking about has made it almost all the way through the Metroplex. So most of the Metro has north winds. Ahead of the front, though, we have south winds. And it's going to be this area southeast of the Dallas Fort Worth area later today that has the best chance of picking up some strong to severe thunderstorms. At 4 o'clock, it's very wet across most, if not all, the Metroplex. And ahead of this front in our southeastern counties is where we're going to have to watch out for the possibility of some strong storms, even some showers remaining at 6 or 7 o'clock this evening before things finally dry out a bit more as we make our way into the overnight hours. But the severe weather risk is there, and you can see where the more numerous severe storms are going to be is southeast of the Dallas Fort Worth area. And it's going to be in this area in yellow primarily that we have the greatest threat for severe weather in North Texas. In the Metroplex, one or two storms may produce some quarter sized hail, but the tornado threat is mainly going to be southeast of the Metroplex. And you can see what our weather risks are looking like. The biggest risk is going to be from lightning from these storms. Hail and flooding are the moderate risk. Quarter sized hail in the Metroplex. And we'll have to watch for ponding on the roads. We've already had so much rain this month that we don't need any more. The lower threats in the Metroplex will be from wind and tornadoes. Again, the tornado threat is mainly southeast of the Metroplex. We probably will add another half an inch to an inch of rain on top of what we've already seen this month with the heavier storms to the east of the Metroplex. That's where we could pick up more than an inch and a half of rain in places like Corsicana and Palestine. So we'll keep an eye on that. A wet Halloween may have a couple of showers tomorrow morning early, but then drying out tomorrow. Cooler with a high of 60. Beautiful Friday and Saturday, highs in the 70s, and another slight chance of rain back in our forecast on Sunday. All right, Jeff, thank you. And a reminder you can track the rain by downloading the free CBS DFW weather app. There, you can also send us video and pictures of the weather in your area.